Why do beef and pork farmers use ractopamine? Bottom line, more meat, less waste. Ractopamine is a feed ingredient whose safety and efficacy has been tested and approved in over 25 countries. It has been safely used in North America without incident since 1999. Beef and pork farmers use it just in the last 30 days of growth because it helps cattle and pigs produce more lean meat with less fat and less waste. More meat, less waste, sounds great. Using feed ingredients like ractopamine is green and sustainable. To me, green means you use all the available resources to get your desired result. It means you don't waste stuff. Sustainable means you don't deplete natural resources to a degree that our grandchildren will go without. If someone offered you a 20% pay raise for the same amount of work, would you take it? If someone said you could get the 16 ounce protein shake for the same price as the 12 ounce, which would you choose? Do you realize if U.S. beef producers did not use these tools like ractopamine, it would take 81 million tons more grain. How much grain is 81 million tons? It's enough to fill over 1,000 Rose Bowl football stadiums. Right, more lean meat, less waste. Sounds mighty green to me. Farmers use it so that they can do a better job providing you with protein. You see, farmers have a difficult job. Those of you who are responsible for feeding a family know the challenge of getting the best, most nutritious food to your children on a budget. Imagine if you had a whole herd of a thousand pound hungry cattle out there wanting breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day. It's a daily burden for the farmer. If you could find a safe, economical ingredient to help stretch that feed and get a little more meat and a little less fat, you'd be very happy. You see, ractopamine helps the animal make better use of the nutrients consumed so that it can make more lean protein on the feed provided. Dr. Hurd, tell me why farmers who raise pork and beef use ractopamine. The short answer, Celeste, is less waste. See, more lean red meat with less feed, water, and greenhouse gases, which seems like a good thing. It's actually, ractopamine is produced from naturally occurring ingredients like raspberry ketones. And it works in a similar way, although just improved. You see, it changes the muscle metabolism, so at the last few weeks of the growing period, the animals don't get fatter as they normally would as they mature. I like to think of it as making the muscles feel young again, and grow young. Don't farmers and ranchers care about the safety of their customers and the meat they consume? Farmers and ranchers care greatly about the safety of the products they provide for consumers as well as their own family. That's why they only use ingredients that have been tested and approved by food safety agencies like the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. In fact, over 25 food safety agencies worldwide have approved ractopamine, while another 100 plus countries will allow imported meat from animals fed ractopamine. A few countries don't allow it, but not because of safety concerns. No, it's because they don't want product that's 20% cheaper and leaner than the meat produced without the benefit of ractopamine. Dr. Hurd, how can a feed additive that helps livestock gain more muscle be considered green or good for the environment? Ingredients like ractopamine, which allow farmers to do more with less, are good for the environment because they use less water and create fewer greenhouse gases. You all understand that it takes land, fuel, and fertilizer to grow feed for these animals. If U.S. cattle and pig producers today stopped using ractopamine, we would need half a million more acres of land. Just for beef alone, we would need Iowa and Kansas again to raise enough cattle. Anybody want to put some cattle on their front yard? This stuff allows an animal to gain 20 to 30 percent more meat with the same amount of feed. That's like getting 200 more quarter pounders per animal for free. Dr. Heard, your burgers are here. 